Hey YouTube, Snowflarky's Emos here with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Close Call. This is a series where I share some replays of uh, duels I've had where uh, things played out not as expected and kind of go over it. So let's get into the game. I'm uh, playing Barrier Statue against a uh, player who I can only describe as playing 60 cards, spellcaster pile. Uh, very interesting list. Uh, that uh, certainly wouldn't hold up against a normal deck, but uh, given the nature of the deck, has a bit more of an advantage against an anti-meta deck like uh, mine. So uh, let's get into it. I'm going first, usually what I want to see. Pretty good hand, of course. I got Barry's Statue, and I got a bunch of face downs. The only thing I'm missing, of course, is a really good uh, card to negate either an Imperm or a Harpy's Feather Duster. But I'm going to commit to the board. It's not that punishing. I got Phantom Knight's Wings, so even if I get Feather Dustered, uh, you know, I can protect uh, Stormwind from being destroyed by the one monster per turn. Maybe worth considering to hold Dimension Guardian then, something I've considered uh, doing with these plays, but uh, we'll see. Uh, of course, I bring that up because it's relevant in here. I flipped Dimension Guardian right out the rip because I'm just trying to get my trap quest in. And, of course, they got the one-up Harpy's Feather Duster, you know. when They simply got it. 60-card pile. They still got Feather Duster. That's fine. I'm just going to chain my uh, Phantom Knight's Wing giving it an extra 500 tech, and it can't be destroyed by battle once per turn. That's uh, fine. They're going to play Millennium Seeker. This is kind of where I realize I'm like, oh, okay, we're getting a little anime deck here. And two sets, uh, two sets are much scarier than a Millennium Seeker here. I'm going to set Fanta Phantom Knight Sword, and I'm not going to attack. I don't want to get Mirror Forced or anything because I don't really have any protection. I want to keep Stormwinds and its ability on the field as long as possible. And if they're not going to commit more monsters, that's fine with me. Uh, they are also keeping Seeker and attack, so... Uh, they clearly want to bait me into attack, uh, but when I top deck card of demise, I'm willing to go into the bait this time because very likely I can demise into another stun monster, keep the board, get some more cards, and I want to do that before, uh, you know, I lose the whole board to a mirror force or something. So they're going to play Forbidden Droplet, discard a Lightning Storm, which I'm very glad to see gone, uh, to uh, half my barrier statues attack and negate its effect. Uh, pretty nice to get that burned on my turn where they can't really make use of it. I'm just going to simply chain swords and give, uh, you know, Stormwind some additional attack. Get rid of Millennium Seeker, draw some cards. I unfortunately draw into two monsters, which sucks. I got to discard, uh, you know, I got to discard good old Inferno, but uh, that's all right. Phantom Knight's Wing, decent card to have. Uh, now this time my opponent uh, passes. That doesn't have much they can do. I'm going to draw Boo Boo Game. This would have been nice if I had it on my opening turn when I got Harpy's Feather Dustered. Because um, it uh, can recycle some normal traps and set them on the field, namely Phantom Knight's Wing. Going to get in some free damage and, uh, you know, just hope my opponent passes again. Now they're going to uh, do something really unfortunate. They got Droll and Lockbird in the hand, which isn't uh, very useful for them. But they're playing Moon Mirror Shield, which is very much a problem. Because uh, it's going to be hard for me to deal with this card unless I get to my Mirror Forces or my Jelly Cannons. And, uh, you know, without uh, Dimension Guardian, I can't just wall infinitely either. So quite an issue here. Uh, Moon Mirror Shield is going to clear my Fossil Dyna. That definitely hurts. Definitely not going to save it. I'm going to set Inspector Border here. I just need to buy as much time as possible. I mean, I got Extravagances. I got more Card of Demise. I got Duality. Surely I could find Heavy Storm Duster or Jelly Cannon or the Blazing Mirror Force. All cards that I play in this deck. I got Mage Power, which is pretty tempting. And then, of course, I am just going to set Mage Power. Maybe try to stay off their attack by uh, scaring them with a trap card. They don't take the bait. They attack Stormwinds again, burning my Phantom Knight's sword, being able to protect it. A second mage power, definitely not what I need to see, and we are in dire straits here. Uh, you know, card like Moon Mirror Shield, this is the kind of stuff this deck is weak to. And, uh, you know, a bad card for most matchups, but it's paying off in this one. So, uh, this time I try to decide to try to do something real cheesy here. I'm going to double mage power my inspector border and my hope is that I can bait them into attacking and, uh, you know, I can use heavy storm duster to destroy moon mirror shield when they do, you know, getting a little desperate, need to end this turn quickly before a solemn shows up. This time they're not taking the bait. They are uh, passing. And I got to say, this player plays really smart. You know, they, they play safe. Uh, arguably, you know, they, they could have not got, I, I guess they don't have Solemn or else they would have committed to it, but, uh, you know, they play really safe and they do a lot of safe decisions that make it so that they can kind of secure the win where they might otherwise not. And, uh, you know, got to commend them for that. Um, you know, I'm going to play 
Uh, I'm going to play good old Heavy Storm Duster here, try to get rid of that myself, but they're going to play Ultimate Providence. Not a good card, but they got the trap card to send, I guess. So, uh, you know, we're going to lose our Heavy Storm Duster, and we still have Moon Mirror Shield to deal with. Luckily, we have top decked the Blazing Mirror Force, so I'm going to try to deal with it. However, they got Dino Miscus that they just set. They're going to be able to discard a card, get rid of my Inspector Border. I mean, I can still get rid of the Moon Mirror Shield uh, Droll Blockbird, but that sucks big time. I got to dig into another card. Now they're going to go Special Summon Crazy. Uh, now, and see, another great play. They're about to attack here, but they're going to put Droll and Lockbird in defense because if this is a Mirror Force, they're still going to have this undestroyable wall and uh, something a lot of players wouldn't think about. But this player is on it. They're just going to commit their monsters. I am, uh, of course, going to Blazing Mirror for their board. We will both take some damage from that. And, uh, of course, Dino Miscus. In defense, quite annoying. Now, duality is nice. I'm really looking to get into a card of demise with this. Solemn Judgment, uh, all this. I'm just going to grab Jelly Cannon. Jelly Cannon is nice because I'll have this ready to go to get rid of this Moon Mirror Shield, Droll, and Lockbird. Dino Miscus goes into attack, pokes my life points, and I really need to find Extravagance, card of demise, something. Uh, duality, another chance to find demise here. Dark Bribe, demise. Uh, Fossil Dina, demise, just what I wanted to see. Play that demise. They don't got any negate. I got another blazing mirror for us. I got some stuff. We're gonna set it all, and that'll put us in a good spot. Now they're gonna sit the defense mode this time. Put me in the corner to attack. I respect, but that's all right. I'm okay buying some turns so I get some monsters. Uh, they're gonna play magicalized fusion, which gets rid of moon mirror shield for me, but summons quintet magician, which is uh, you know quite a problem. Uh, you know you can destroy this card if. By using the five different spellcasters' names, they're going to destroy all cards my, you know, our opponent controls, and that really sucks. Uh, you know, Moon Mirror Shield's going to take some life. They're going to destroy some cards. Now, luckily, Boo Boo Game is there, so I can put Jelly Cannon and uh, Blazing Mirror Force together. Uh, now they're going to play Magician Circle, of course, trying to end the game for good. I'm going to get Jelly Cannon, get this Quintet Magician back in the deck. Then they're going to summon Kiwi Magician, which we're about to see is uh, going to be the bane of my existence here. So, uh, you know, I, I take some damage. I carded Demise. I got some stuff. I got the Jelly Cannon. I got the Blazing Mirror Force. and uh, But unfortunately, I play the Blazing Mirror Force, but this is where I realize, oh, Kiwi Magician Girl has an effect. What's this? Uh, spellcaster type monsters you control cannot be destroyed by card effects, and your opponent cannot target them with card effects? Oh no, this is not good at all. Because um, that means my jelly cannon is useless either. And, uh, you know, I top deck a monster. I'm going to play Pot of Extravagance, try to get some cards. I got this. I got the mage power. I got to clear this Kiwi Magician. But World Legacy Clash, what is this? They banished a face of monster. And, and, you know, then that target loses attack and defense against Dino Miscus, but that's fine. Now uh, I can't do anything about Kiwi Magician Girl. And uh, where this really becomes a problem is, uh, you know, they're going to play Dogmatica Cleese. And uh, that attack drop is permanent, I realize. And Jelly Cannon doesn't work. I'm still under the impression that it is. And Kiwi Magician Girl takes it from me. Ah, oh, this was painful. A game that should have been real easy against this kind of anime pile deck, but... I just, you know, don't have enough at the start, and they have enough to answer my questions right off the bat, and playing back row and stuff gives them the advantage, because, uh, I mean, normally that's how this deck wins, is I know that my opponents aren't going to be playing any kind of back row usually for the most part, and, uh, ooh, just a crushing defeat. But a close game, and uh, definitely didn't turn out as expected. So that's it for this one. Uh, let me know what you think. Uh, we can discuss it in the comments below. Thanks for checking it out. Catch you in the next one.